Welcome to all of you on the channel Maths with Munir. So today we are going to solve another problem from D2 Maths exercise 1B. And in particular, this question is from the topic direct proportional. I'm going to read this question quickly and then we'll come to the solution. It says, if y is directly proportional to x squared and y is equal to a for a particular value of x, find an expression for y in terms of a when this value of x is double. <laughs> I know that by reading this question at first, it might appear to be a very difficult and tough question. But trust me, watch this video completely, all right, with full attention. You should have your copy and pen with you, note it down every single step. And I can assure you, you will get this question at the end. So I will explain first, what does it mean by directly proportional? If we have two variable, a and B, if we increase the value of A and we are going to have the same effect on this side as well on B, I mean by increasing the value of A, B is also increasing, so it means that this is called directly proportional. If we decrease the value of A, B is also going to be decreased, it means that this is also direct proportional. So we should have the same effect on both sides, whether it is increment or decrement. So the question says y is directly proportional to x squared. Y is directly proportional to x squared. This is a symbol for directly proportional. Once you remove this directly proportional, you must need to write equals to and k x squared. This is a constant that we have introduced over here. And it, you must need to introduce a scalar. It could be any constant over here. And the reason is that why we are taking because if we write 6 is directly proportional to 3 so far this is completely true and if we remove this directly proportional sign and we only write equals okay you see it means that how it is possible that 6 is going to be equal to 3 so this is never possible <coughs> so it means that we must need to introduce a scalar over here to maintain the balance on both sides so y is equals to kx squared and y equals to a for a particular value of x y is equals to a for a particular value of x now that particular value of x could be anything all right so you you, you can't take a specific number but you can take any variable from a to z make sure that you should take a different variable as we have a over here as well so i'm going to take the value of x b so this is a particular value of x which I have taken over here. Plug in these two values on this equation. y is equal to a. This is k and x is b. So open this. a equals to k b square. We need to find out the value of k. So obviously this b square we are going to shift it to the, to the other side. So we got that k is equal to a over b squared. This is the value of k. Plug in this value in this step. y is equal to, we need to plug in the value. Value of k is a over b squared. And we have x squared. Okay, so far we reached to this point. Now, find an expression for y in terms of a. If you look at this step right now, you will see that <clears throat> this expression for y contains a, b, x squared. So there are three variables at the moment. They want you to find out an expression for y in terms of a. There should not be any variable other than a. When this value of x is double, when you will get the expression for y in terms of a, when the value of x is double, okay? Which value? This value. Initially it was x equals to b. So we are going to plug in x equals to 2b in this step. We will get a over b square. And this x is 2b. a over b square. Open this square. You will get 2 square will be 4 and b square will be b square. This b square and this b square will cancel. 4 times a will give you 4 a. 
So this is the required answer. So you see we got the expression for y in terms of a which in doesn't involve any other vari variable. So if you have still any question, please you can comment. I will always get back to you. If you got this video, subscribe and share as much as you can. It might help many.